Are you guys excited or what? <laughs> I'm really excited too. I guess this is happening. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about this for a long, long time, and now it's here. Um, I love your shirt, by the way. It looks great. Yeah, yours too. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So, uh, <laughs> who here wants one of these shirts? All right, all right. Hopefully we've printed enough. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so I want to pick up where we left off yesterday. How many guys um, were a little upset at our cliffhanger? <laughs> Thank you for forgiving us, but we wanted to do this big presentation on today, which, as you guys know, is ClickFunnels' seven-year birthday, which is crazy. <laughs> Seven years ago, we had more than nine months of labor prior to that, though. Oh, this yeah, is the exactly. day it was actually born. So <laughs> this is the day we finally had a chance to show. And anyone who's ever created anything, if you've written a book, you created a product, anything, there's always that, that initial part where you're in private creating something, and it's fun, and it's exciting, and then the first time you make it public, it's scary, right? It's like, this is, I'm showing what I created to the world. What if they hate it? What if they judge it? What if they don't like it? I remember when I wrote my very first book, like, uh, when I got the first one, I was so scared to show it to anybody. Like, what if they don't like it? And I think we felt that way initially seven years ago when we were like, this is what we're working on, you guys. What if everyone hates it? What if they don't? And today, right backstage, Todd said that like, here's my baby. Uh, everyone <laughs> take a look and judge it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we're a little nervous, but really excited because it's a good looking baby. So um, we're excited <laughs> to show you guys ClickFunnels 2.0. Uh, but to kind of recap, to bring us back to where we were yesterday. So as you guys know, um, uh, after we got an offer for someone to buy ClickFunnels, um, we flew out and Todd and I decided that we did not want to sell. And after we told them no, we hung up the phone, that's when this began. That's when the craziness of like, all right, well, if we're not going to do this, like, let's get back to work and create something amazing. And um, these are some of the pictures of that actual experience. I'm glad we captured these because I think in this moment we were excited and scared and like second guessing ourselves and all the things wrapped into one. But you can see from our faces, I think the energy and excitement, like this is... This is the future. This is the next 10 years of our life, and we're so excited to start running with you guys. And so um, that happened first. Then Dave, as you guys know, could not be at a party without us, so he jumped in a plane and flew out. We uh, decided to make ClickFunnels great again, and then we spent an entire week at Todd's Lake House building and creating and figuring things out, drawing things all over the board, doing tons of calls, and planning out uh, what we're going to share with you guys today, which is really, really exciting. So um, that's kind of where we're picking up today at ClickFunnels 2.0. Um, this yeah, absolutely. slide is all for you. Yeah, all right. Well, with that, I'll jump right into it. So first, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, behind the scenes on this. I wanted to talk about what I'm calling the funnel hacker life cycle. And if we look at how most of you guys start business, you, know, you come into our ecosystem, you come into our environment, you usually start by collecting leads, right? That's one of the first things people will do. They'll come in, they'll build the lead funnel, they'll actually like create an opt-in page, create a lead magnet, start collecting leads. And when we first started ClickFunnels, nobody did this, right? Like this was hard. You had to go out and hire someone like me and basically be like, please build me a page and I want to change the headline. And then you'd have to send me an email or an agency an email and get something updated. It was a huge process. So that's one reason why we created ClickFunnels in the first place, right? Uh, but often the next step in that process is making your first sell, right? Order processing. And same thing here, when we first created ClickFunnels, you had to go hire a programmer to do just about any of this, to create an order page. There was nothing off the shelf really for you. Uh, upsells, one-click upsells, literally nothing out there. Like the, the closest thing that you could buy at the time was probably $5,000 to have someone create an upsell for your ConfusionSoft system to be able to <laughs> add an upsell to your thing, right? So, so confusing. This is basically what we created ClickFunnels for in the very beginning. But that's not the end of the life cycle for most of you guys. Many of you guys, as your businesses grow, you often come in and you decide to create recurring revenue in your businesses, right? Like maybe you want to create a membership site or a course or something on the back end. And we do provide membership software for you inside of ClickFunnels, but often you want to do above and beyond and there's more features out there for you. Uh, email marketing, right? You want to do follow-up sequences. You want to be able to follow up with your leads and that's why we created Action Addicts and we created follow-up funnels for you guys. Uh, but it grows past that, right? So you also have funnel hubs. You guys learned all about funnel hubs this week. And you know that's your home page often. And many people that come into our ecosystem are like, I, how do I set up my home page? And no matter how much, t how many times we tell people, you can create a <laughs> funnel for your home page. There's still just things that make it easier on some of the other tools that exist. So, uh, 
often what you've just learned about from Braven is one of the next steps in that process. You might want to create an e-commerce store to send people to, and, and that's the back of your funnel, potentially, that you might want to fulfill on. So that's another part of the ecosystem. Your blog, right? Oftentimes, you're looking for different ways to create organic traffic. Maybe you've got paid traffic and your funnel's working amazing, but you've heard there's this thing called a blog that you can create content for and actually grow your business through organic free traffic, right? So that's another part of the life cycle, sales team. As you grow, as you become somebody like Lady Boss, and you have full-time salespeople on your team, and you're actually out there recruiting people, you need software to, for your sales team to be able to keep in touch with things. And it gets confusing. It becomes troublesome to be able to actually combine your, your intelligence from your sales force or your, your back-end sales team software to your funnel software, and maybe to your e-commerce software, and across the board, across everything that you're running. Uh, how many of you guys use more than, let's say, five tools to run your business right now? Right? Like that's, yeah, just about everyone probably actually is like that these days. So <laughs> analytics, analytics are critical. If you don't have the right metrics and right numbers in your business, how are you going to drive traffic to your business and have positive ROI? So all of these tools combined are, are basically what we see people time and time again growing into and needing over time. Um, so when we were sitting here looking at ClickFunnels 2.0 and what we wanted to accomplish, we wanted to do as much for you guys as possible towards alleviating these pains and making it easier. So. And one thing that was interesting, yes, give him a round of applause for this. Hold on. <laughs> so I had something interesting about the time we started this conversation. My brother, who um, is not like a funnel hacker crazy, but he came to me and he's like, I've got a band. I want a website. You've got ClickFunnels. Can I build a website ClickFunnels? And I was like, well, yeah, you, like, you should just build a funnel instead. He's like, but okay, I'll build a funnel. But he didn't know what that was, right? So I gave him a ClickFunnels account. He started trying to create things. And, and I thought he'd just kind of given up. He comes back like a month and a half later. He's like, I built my website. And he had like 40 different pages and menus on every single page, linking from the, and this whole thing, right? And uh, he got all done. I was like, oh my gosh, like you spent a lot of time on this. He's like, yeah, I had to figure out the menus and how they work and everything. But as a lot of you guys know, he was creating, you know, the, the navigation menu and doing it over and over and the footer over and over and all these things. And he got it to work, but it took him a long time. And I was like, ah, oh, ClickFunnels is supposed to be fast. And then he was like, I want to sell my t-shirts on here. Can I have a shopping cart? And I was like, well, kind of like, you need to, you need a funnel, but you could, you know, and kind of back and forth. So my brother went and created a Shopify account and they linked from ClickFunnels to a Shopify account. And then uh, all these things, I'm just like, ah, oh, like it's so frustrating. Like I know what my brother, what he wants, right? He wants what people understand. He wants a website, he wants a store, but he needs a funnel, but he wants these other things. And I was like, how do we, how do we create something where it does both things, where it gives people exactly what they want, which is typically a website, a shopping cart, things like that, but also gives them what they need, which is funnels, as you guys know. And so these are some of the conversations we're having, like how do we create something that, that combines these things because we're the best in the world at funnels by far. How do we become the best in the world at all the things that we need as entrepreneurs so we can free all of our entrepreneurs so you guys can get back to serving your customers? And that's kind of where this whole conversation started beginning at. Yep, absolutely. Well, with um, that, uh, how many of you guys want to see the video that everyone saw that was reacting to that yesterday? Should we actually show them that now? Like, okay, so this, is, <laughs> this is a five minute, this is about a five minute sneak peek. We're going to show you guys, show them behind the scenes of some stuff, and then we're going to come and go deeper afterwards. So uh, if you guys want to see, you guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. All right. One more. Boom. Hey, what's up, everybody? First off, if you're watching this, you are one of like 10 people on the planet who have ever seen ClickFunnels 2.0 before Funnel Hacking Live. And uh, as you know, we're making a reaction video. So I'm gonna show you guys probably a five minute uh, quick walkthrough of, uh, of 2.0. And then hopefully we'll get you guys going like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Or whatever whatever uh, reactions are natural to you. Um, it'd be cool. Now, I wanna do a full walkthrough with you. Uh, Todd did a walkthrough with me and it was uh, like over 90 minutes. There's so much to show. There's so much it does. ClickFunnels 2.0 was built from the ground up. It's not like adding code or fixing bugs. It was like we started over from scratch and rebuilt and it's amazing. Now, obviously, also, we haven't told um, the public this yet. But I can lie, it'll be the first time we've announced it, so if you can just keep it quiet until then. Um, and that's kind of the game plan. So I'm gonna show you guys just some of the, the cool things. Everything's been rethought, redesigned from the ground up to be different, to be new, to be exciting. Um, all the things that I wish we had seven years ago are now here, which is exciting. Um, and it's amazing. So again, I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can, like a quick four to five minute video, and then uh, the rest will have to leave to your imagination. But all the stuff you've been asking for, all the things you've been dreaming for, all the things you've wanted for a long time are here now. Um, uh, we we're talking earlier, like, like almost all the features right now are about 95% done. None of them are 100% done yet, so um, that's why we'll be showing this at Funnel Hacking Live and the beta groups will open right afterwards. And you guys, because you are helping us with this, will be the very first ones to get your hands on a ClickFunnels account. So awesome. that's kind of game plan. I'm just gonna jump in here and uh, there's a video I'm gonna walk you through that shows you guys some of the core things that I think you'll be excited by. And uh, it should be fun. So you ready to see this? 
remember, it's top secret, don't show anybody else. So this is the inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. And uh, if you notice on the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of menus. There's home, there's sites, there's products, uh, there's orders, there's contacts, there's analytics, there's marketing, there's sales, there's settings, and also a tab where you can add new apps and features of the future. Now, one kind of cool thing about this is each of those different sections are designed for a different part of your staff, right? So if you're a salesperson, you're gonna be in uh, in the contacts. If you are a customer support, you're gonna be in a different section. If you're a funnel builder, you'll be in a different section. If you um, are a traffic analytics person, you'll be in the analytics section. And that way it's really cool because you can um, give access to parts of the app to just people that you want seeing parts of the app, right? If you want the support people to be able to do customer support but not see your funnels or your funnel builders, to be able to design funnels but not see how much money you're making, you can now do that really easily because of the left-hand menu there. Now everything's kind of broken up into different, um, you know, the different people on your team that would be running different parts of it. Um, so I'm gonna come to the top, we're gonna open up the little menu on the side here. And this is kind of the core thing. This is our site overview menu. So instead of before, it's just click funnels, you go and you build a bunch of random funnels. Now each account is based off of one core site. Right, and so uh, for example, marketing secrets would be an, a ClickFunnels account. It'd be my site. So you guys know I have a green drink company coming out. So Zuma Juice, I'd have a site called Zuma Juice. That would be uh, you know some people call them a website. We call them a funnel hub. It is one site per account. It's kind of like your funnel hub. It's um, the overarching side of your account. And inside that, there's a blog. There's a store like a Shopify style store. There's a customer center. There's an affiliate center. And then from there, you can also see there's there's funnels. There's courses. There's pages. There's themes. There's domains. There's URL redirects. A whole bunch of other cool stuff. The entire uh, platform now is built off of um, everything fitting under this one customer hub, okay? So for example, now you can do a blog, and uh, these blogs are SEO optimized just like WordPress. You can do courses. Um, all your products are centralized in one spot. All your funnels are here. Um, so it's really cool what you're able to do. So anyway, so that's kind of the beginning. Here's an overview. Now if you notice, uh, I can go here to the page, I can click edit and customize it, and it pulls me inside the editor. Now a couple of things that are cool about ClickFunnels 2.0, as you will notice, there's a lot of cool things. Um, but one of them here is look on the top side here. So this is showing a universal menu. So for a lot of you guys in the past, we couldn't do blogs where you have the same header or same footer across every single page in a site. But now you can. You have universal headers and footers where you update one spot, update all of them across the board. Uh, and that was again, come back to this, this page theme, which is so cool. So we got universals, uh, which I've been wanting since day one of ClickFunnels. We finally got them now, uh, which is exciting. You see the universal stuff here. You also have the same thing, your rows, your sections, uh, pops out, the editor's all cleaned up. It's, um, it's, it's completely rebuilt from the ground up in React, which the techie nerds know what that is, but it's a faster language. The pages load faster. In fact, we've been load testing against all the competitors who have those like annoying, like we're faster than ClickFunnels pages. And we have like ClickFunnels 1.0, their sites, and then ClickFunnels 2.0, and we thrash all of them, which is exciting. So the pages load super fast, uh, which is really, really cool. All right, the other thing that's cool is you click on this little menu, it pulls out, and you can see all, again, all the different page types. So I'm gonna click on funnels. So here's all the funnels I have in this account. And at the top here, you'll notice something that's a little bit different. You just see who are the people that are hooked to this to this level, right? So these are all the people who are funnel builders who are allowed to go in, edit funnels, edit pages, things like that. You see their status, their admin, if they can, you know, what kind of access they have, things like that. I can turn off access, I can add access, uh, which is really, really cool as well. You can click right here to edit the actual funnel, and now it pulls up our new funnel builder, which is so cool. So now instead of having just static funnels that go page one to page two, you know, three like that, now you can actually start building smarter funnels with split tests, uh, upsell, downsell, pass, things like that. Also the top here, you notice, who are the people who can actually edit this thing, right? So I can say, okay, let Nick or Kelsey or someone have access to be able to edit this, or don't let them out edit this at all, right? That way uh, you can kind of make sure that no one jacks up your funnel or get the right people in who can edit the funnel, do the split test, optimization, things like that. So that's happening inside of here. And as you scroll down, you have a chance to see um, all the pages here inside the funnel. So there's the first page of split test. You come down to OTO number one, um, OTO number two. You can see the sales process, but you can make these a lot smarter now, right? So I can click right here and I can go and say, okay, how about um, I'm gonna split the path here. So I'm gonna have, you know, if they say yes, go here. If they say no, go here. Or, you know, as, as complicated or simple as you wanna do, you can now start doing it here uh, inside of the new funnel builder, which is really, really cool. You can add a page. You can get an existing page if you already edited in the past or you can create a new page from scratch. So if you know, hey, Upsell 3 works in every one of my funnels, you can just go grab it, click a button, and boom, Upsell 3 is in there that fast. So it gives us the ability to build funnels really, really quickly, um, which is obviously amazing. I uh, come down here, and now I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go and actually edit this page. You click on it, and boom, it throws you inside the ClickFunnels editor. Now, a couple things. Notice on the left-hand side, you can still see the actual funnel here. So one of my favorite things is like, if I want to see the pages, I can just quickly click on a different page and it, boom, pulls a new page in the editor. Click the next page, boom, it pulls in the editor. So I can, I can, I don't have to go out of the editor, in the editor, out of the editor, in the editor. I can just go click through the actual pages and it reloads that page in the editor and boom, I can start editing as quick as I want, uh, which is, you know, obviously amazing and so exciting. 
Um, so uh, next thing here is you see the full editor. At the top, you also noticed um, the actual people who are inside of the editor. Now this is cool for a couple reasons. Like you may have a copywriter in here writing copy, right? And I'm sure you've done the past the old push funnels, like a designer log in and edit something that overwrote the copywriter back and forth. And so this works more like Google Docs or Google, Google Slides where you can have a copywriter, a designer, an editor all in the page and you can all be editing the same page. You can see where someone's at, right? So I can see right here, Nick Sanders is working on the headline. Jake Leslie's over there working on the side block. I can see Jake's adding the copy there. I can see it happening in real time. So you can now do collab editing where we can have a whole team of people all editing at the same time, which is like one of my favorite things in the whole world. Um, so we can get things done faster. People aren't overriding each other and a whole bunch of other amazingness. Um, here you can also go and attach workflows to any single step in the process. So you click on here, and this is the, it could be your email sequence, it could be your, um, you know, anything you want to have trigger based on someone hitting this page or, you know, buying something from this page. And so all of your workflows, your email sequences, things like that are here. You can add them in um, and you can do a lot of really cool complex things as well if you want. You can delay things, branch path, add, remove, move, conditional goals, notify, like it's, um, it's really, really powerful. It gives you the ability to, to create sequences way better than we ever had in the past with ClickFunnels. Um, the new uh, email editor is amazing too. Like just, anyway, uh, again, if I had three hours, I'd show you all the things, but you guys can see how cool this is. And so um, all the conditional things based on who's opening emails, who's clicking, who's not clicking, like all that kind of stuff. If they buy, if they don't buy, you can do all complex, complex sequencing and it's all in one spot, which is amazing. You can also click here and see uh, detailed stats on each page, which is cool as well. You can see the EPCs, gross sales, average cart value, stats, visitors, click throughs, like all that stuff really quickly. You can see and see how much money this funnel is actually making you in real time um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Come on, this is like ridiculous. I'm so excited. Wish I was using this right now, but we're getting close. And so that's how the funnel builder works. Okay, guys, so there is uh, kind of a glimpse at ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, again, not only does it do your funnels, like the original ClickFunnels, not only does it do your email marketing sequences like you just saw, the funnel builder, the editor, all that kind of stuff. The other thing it does, it does your websites, it does your funnel hub, it does your blog, it does your shopping cart. Um, it's built just like Shopify, except for you can actually use the ClickFunnels editor to edit the page and have the upsell flows and sequences and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if your customer center, so when someone buys a product, they get dumped in that customer center, they can find all their products, they can cancel recurring billing, they can update things, like a whole bunch of amazing things. Um, we also vault credit cards now. So like, let's say you have all your, your uh, recurring billing happening in ClickFunnels and Stripe shuts you down, you don't lose your business, you can just pop in a different, uh, uh, different mid and you're back up and, and running again. Um, products are now global, so that way you can create your products once and then inside the funnel, instead of having to recreate your product every single time, inside of a funnel, you create an offer, which is like, okay, here, bonus one from here, bonus two, Bonus three, you build an actual offer and boom, that fast, you've got something. And ah, like I wish I could show you other things. Membership sites are so sick in 2.0. Um, ah, anyway, there's so much cool stuff, you guys. But hopefully that gives you a glimpse. You can see what's so cool about it, why we're freaking out. Uh, literally, it's built from the ground up. You guys, when you see it, the pages load fast. The, like, ah, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's, imagine like going back to, to day number one and like dream, like after doing this now for seven years, like we know what features we wish we had. We know what things we wish we would have done in the beginning. We know what things have come out since we started. And uh, Todd and his team was able to re-engineer this from the ground up to build it perfect. And it is amazing and I'm proud of it. And I cannot wait to show it to the world. And first off, glad for you guys to have a chance to see it. So let me know your thoughts. Let us know. I want to see your reactions. I want to, uh, I want to see like how you guys feel. If you have half as excited. Let us know your thoughts from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> and they just got a glimpse. They just got a tiny peek. <laughs> oh man! All right, so you guys have seen a glimpse. Uh, we want to go a little bit deeper. You guys want to go into some of the stuff and show you guys how it all works? Okay, yeah. we're gonna begin with the funnel hub. Mike and AJ did an amazing presentation today talking about a funnel hub, and we wanted them to come on ahead of time because um, this is the kind of the structure, the core thing that ClickFunnels 2.0 leads with. I don't know if you want to talk more about this uh, kind of the thought process behind this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it boils back to a little bit like what you were saying about your brother. We have a lot of people that come into the world and they, they're just, they don't understand what a funnel is when they're getting into the ecosystem and they want to create their homepage. They want to create the beginning of their site and funnel hubs are that strategy that we can teach them. And this really helps people get started super easily, but also run their entire web presence on ClickFunnels without this piece none of the other pieces are possible, right? This is the base foundation. This is your domain, your website, your customer center, as you guys will get a peek out here in just a minute, uh, and of course your blog. So that's just basically the foundation that lays up everything else for you. Uh, when you jump in and start customizing your, your 
Funnel Hub, your site, you'll see here on the left-hand side, you actually have theme pages for all the different major areas. And what we're, we're going through basically, and you have like your home page of your site, your home page of the Funnel Hub, you have your store pages are here, right? So part of your theme translates into your store. So once you design your theme and your styles and everything for your home page, it translates into your e-commerce store, it translates into your blog. You're able to override and customize it as you want, but it's, uh, it's all done in one place. So you're able to just use the ClickFunnels editor, use the power of the ClickFunnels editor to actually customize everything about your business and about your web spread. It's cool because like, how many of you guys have done a funnel and you edit the first page and you have to redesign it again and redesign it again, where this is like you set all the style sheets up ahead of time and then boom, that style goes throughout the entire yeah. site, the shore, the shopping cart, everything, which is so cool. Yeah. The next one? Yeah, absolutely. We'll jump into it. So one of the things that makes that possible is what Russell touched on earlier, which is what we're calling universal sections. And you'll see this new purple element when you're in the editor. We made it purple to, not, to stand out nicely, right? Like it needs to be a little bit obvious. But the universal sections, you can basically take any section that you have in your entire site, in your entire, any of your funnels, anywhere, turn them into a universal section. And from then on, whenever you use them on any page throughout the app, updating it on one page will update it across all the other pages that are using them. Yeah, which is great for headers, for footers, and all that kind of stuff, which is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. All right, the next thing here inside of Funnel Hubs gives you your blog, right? So yes. there was a there was a good bit of excitement on the blog thing too. So blogs are also uh, are awesome for being able to build content, get organic traffic to your website, uh, and quite frankly, most of the editing experiences and tools out there aren't that great when it comes to actually customizing your blog and building things. It was yes. when Mike and AJ backstage, yeah. like, we use this one, it's the it's the best of all the worst WordPress editors. Like, they're all bad, and so he's like, the fact is this is gonna be ClickFunnels is insane. Yeah, absolutely, and then security, you have the security of our infrastructure and everything behind you too. You're not constantly updating plugins and trying to keep your site online all the time, and our blog experience is SEO optimized from, the, from day one, and uh, also benefits from all the speed and performance of the new editor. Very, very cool. By next year, all our funnel hackers will be bloggers too, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, we're talking about this next one? Yeah, pages. So pages are maybe self-explanatory, but we've never in ClickFunnels actually grouped things separately from funnels, right? So you build a funnel and then you can add as many pages as you want. This allows you to build page templates that can be used in a variety of environments. So if you build an order page over here, you actually can convert it into an opt-in page or vice versa and turn things into different things, right? I know many of you power users hit that bottleneck all the time. So this allows it to be way more flexible. So you can come in, you can create a 404 page, you can just create one-off pages super easily and have them nicely organized and easy to manage so very cool mm -hmm. all right the next thing is one of my favorite things um, because this is something that's been a pain in my side since day number one of click funnels like oh, I wish we could do this and uh, as we we're thinking through this um, again then this is one of the big reasons why this was not like take click funnels 1.0 and tweak something or add a feature like Todd had to rethink the structure of how everything works so that this next feature is possible and the next feature is Customer centers. Yeah, the customer center. So this is the center of your business. This is everything, right? So this is, whether you're selling courses, whether you're doing lead magnets, no matter what you're doing, everything from your customer's invoice history to their lead magnets, to their courses, to their billing profiles, to their cards, everything is managed in here. So if you're shipping, Physical products, they'll see their order tracking information here. If you're shipping, if you're doing courses and digital stuff, they'll find that access here. They'll find everything all in one spot, easy to manage and easy to update. And one thing, I, we may talk about this in a minute, but the, the one thing that's so cool for me about this is how many guys have set like 300 funnels up and each funnel you have to go add the products again over and over and over again. Like now because of this, you can create uh, products globally and someone buys it, boom, yes. it shows them your customer center. If they log in the customer center and they bought three of your products, not the other two, they're there. They can click a button and one click upsell, boom, unlocks it and they can start getting access to all your other products and services all inside the not customer center, which is so cool. Seriously. Yes. Anything else on customer centers you want to touch on? That's probably it for right now. But there's so many things that we don't have in these slides right now, just like you mentioned, right? So you have uh, sales channel visibility across your different global products on the platform. So you're able to check a box and list a product in your store, check a box and list a product in your customer center for sale. So anyone that hasn't purchased it will see it as an upsell available immediately. So cool. Ah. Okay, this next one is a big deal for a couple of reasons. Um, one of my one messages, as you guys saw last night, I did the virtual real estate presentation. I talked about we have Zuma Juice and we have Aubon Broth, and we have all these different companies and things we're building out. Now, in the past, I would build those all in one ClickFunnels account. And let's say someday I was like, man, Zuma Juice is making a lot of money. I want to sell this business. 
if I try to sell it to someone, I'm like, okay, let me export these funnels and like these content. It was a huge nightmare. Where now, as you see here, uh, we can set up teams, we can set up companies, and set up different uh, funnel hubs inside of it. So I can create everything inside of one funnel hub. If someone buys Zuma Juice, I click a button, and it goes from my ClickFunnels account to yours, and now you got the business. Everything is there, done, and it's yeah. over that fast. It does way more than that. You want to go deeper into all the other stuff. That was like kind of like when, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, like every one of my little companies can be a different thing, and that way I can do whatever I want with it. Which yeah, cool. absolutely. And this also lends itself great to you agencies out there. The agency plans that exist now will allow you to actually purchase a team and put people in your agency on different, different workspaces, different sites that they're working on, and easily transfer it to clients anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Anything else on this one here? Um, I, there's so many things that we could drill into here. I mean, the, the other thing that we're working on is making this actually where you could share these. So we've talked about this briefly, but I might as well share with everyone too. So you'll be able to, in addition to like in ClickFunnels 1.0, you can do share funnels, right? That's the thing that you're sharing with people. In this, we're going to do shared workspaces. So you can actually build the entire business for someone and actually transfer everything, the follow-up funnels, the, the funnels, the store, the homepage, everything all at once oh, to someone dang. else. Dang. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, the next one's one I'm so excited for. Um, how many of you guys want to start finally having a shopping cart built inside of ClickFunnels as well? Yeah, we absolutely, we have thousands of you guys that use us as your front end. You drive traffic to us. This is where all your conversions happen. But you also have a Shopify store, potentially. And reconciling fulfillment and products and inventory and all these things I know can become a nightmare. So our goal with this is to become the merchant of record for everything for you guys. Our products inside of ClickFunnels will actually be able to be everything for you. So if you're running an e-commerce store, you're able to manage your designs of your e-commerce store inside of ClickFunnels, the products, the inventory, everything Thing that you're doing inside of a tool like BigCommerce or Shopify at this moment now will be possible inside of ClickFunnels with the ClickFunnels editor experience as well. <laughs> Which is so cool. Yeah. yeah. I love it too because think about this, like most of us sell our products in different places, right? So you have it in global products and it's like, okay, I want this in my shopping cart, so boom, it's there. When someone comes to my shopping cart page, it's there. But also it's on upsell number three on this funnel, upsell 22 on this funnel, it's over here. But all of it sinks back into one spot, one fulfillment, everything can happen there. No matter if it sells it on you know, upsell 23 or in the cart, it all kind of leads back to the same spot. And, and you have to recreate the product over and over and over again and all the data is in one spot, all the reporting is in one spot, everything's there. Uh, which is awesome. One of the coolest things about that as well is that we've built in all our best practices. So things like bumps and upsells and everything that take like 13 different apps to do on the competitors are all just built in. <laughs> so you can just so do nice. it. <laughs> yeah, some of the day it shows that, like, yeah, Shopify is like, what, 29, 30 bucks a month yeah. for account. They showed me to be able to do the, the same thing you'll do in ClickFunnels out of the gate. There was like, I think it was like uh, 12 or $1,400 a month in app recurring fees to be able to do what ClickFunnels does out of the box day number one. So. Okay. Pretty cool. Oh, I ruined the surprise on the next one. So, global products. Ooh. Be excited again. Yes, global products are here. It does mean to add on to global products. I already ruined the surprise. I was right? No, ahead. you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, global products are kind of self explanatory in one sense, but it's basically the ability to sell the exact same product in multiple funnels throughout your account, whether it's your store, whether it's funnels, whether it's as upsells, front end products. You can set different price points. We support full uh, variant control. You basically can put photographs. Everything that you would expect to be able to do for proper product management is now built in by default for ClickFunnels. Very cool. So cool, so cool. Shopping carts. <clears throat> this. I'm trying to remember where we're going with this one. This one, so. <laughs> it's basically we just what we were about just that. Yeah, sorry. But Here's some more UIs for it. So we have fully optimized mobile experience for this, and I kind of mentioned that the, the faults are built in, right? So you can see on there we have order bumps for the cart built in. So you're able to create pre and post checkout upsells. And uh, on the next slide, we'll jump in and I'll show you guys a little bit more about how that works. So using the new funnel builder, which you guys got a quick preview of there, but the funnel builder allows you to build upsell flows as well as full-blown funnels. So you're able to build an upsell flow, which if you go to the next slide, Russell, if, that you can actually set up with conditions. So you're able to create multiple upsell flows based on the conditions of what the person checked out in your store. So you're able to say, if they bought this book, then send them through this upsell funnel. And the exact same thing on the front end side. If a certain product is in their account, we can show them different bumps. So we'll be able to optimize that full checkout experience and turn your store into a funnel. So cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
these are some more screenshots of that showing that like boom here it is order form bumps one one click upsell everything happening so you're getting the power of like a like a store with also the power of the, the click funnels editor the upsell downsell process everything else uh which is so cool okay so we move on to the smart funnel builder yeah so i, I don't want to glaze over the fact that in addition to all this new cool stuff our primary focus was making what click funnels is the best in the world at even better and this starts with the funnel builder so the new smart funnel builder is built in a way that allows us to do much more complex funnels with an easy to understand user interface so in click funnels one you can obviously do basic split testing with this we can do entire branch split testing as i call it so you can literally say send them down this path for order processing and upsells or this path and you can do exact like entirely different funnel experiences and in addition to that you can do split testing that is based on conditions of the known buyer so if they've already purchased your book your dot com secrets book let's sell them the traffic secrets book instead and we can conditionally update the funnels in real time as people are going through them yeah so cool next slide show some of that yeah so i mean the the stats and everything that are actually on the funnel builder now are built in as well i know one of one of russell's pet peeves about it now is the stats can be a lot right like we've got a lot of data a lot of information that we're throwing at you inside of the new funnel builder stats are actually built into the nodes so you're able to see the stats in real time set conditions set filters see in the context of the larger picture of your funnel what exactly is going on based on different <laughs> conditions and split tests that you're running in real time very cool. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want, you can go from here to even dive deeper. For the, the people who are super stat nerds, you can go really deep and still see all the stuff. Yeah. You get quick glimpses here so you make good, uh, quick marketing decisions as well. Yep. Okay, after the funnel build, the next thing that is one of the ClickFunnels, the most important things, we believe, is the ClickFunnels page editor. And this new editor, when we started brainstorming, uh, Todd's like, so what do you want to do? I'm like, the biggest thing I want to do is do what Google Docs does, where we can all be in there working together. Because how many of you guys have ever had this experience where you're editing a funnel and you're like, I'm not a designer, so my designers are editing and I get done and I'm like, okay, I'm out of the page, you can go in. And then he goes in and then he starts designing stuff and then I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to save the page. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, and I save the page and it overwrites his thing or he saves my page, we're like, no, and then, and like, and then for me now, we have a copy, we have four or five people that are in the funnel, so we're in a Slack group, and I'm like, okay, I'm out of the funnel, you can go in. Okay, you're in? No, I'm out. Like, anyone's page right now, I want to make sure that no one else is in here. And it's like this biggest nightmare of communication. Sometimes it'd be like 11 at night, and I message like, is anyone on the page? And no one's responding, and I'm like, <sighs> fingers crossed. I'm like, jumping in, like, I hope I don't mess up somebody else's work, and I go in just hoping. We're now, um, as you guys know, there's the collab feature, which, um, which is amazing. I think that's the next slide. We'll talk about, we'll go into this. Yeah, absolutely. Which is not easy to do, by the way. I don't know if you want to talk about that part of it. No, I mean, obviously, that's not a trivial, trivial thing to overcome. And that's one of the reasons why the editor experience has been written from the ground up from an editing side as well as a page side. So this allows us to actually, in real time, stream those updates to everyone that's connected. So whether it's two different people editing a page or two dozen people editing the same page, it'll stream all the updates fast and easy. And make it very clear for everyone that's working on it yeah it's cool you probably see the pictures like like let's say i'm editing the headline you can see like oh russell's editing the headline right now and so and so's over here and you see exactly where people are at what element they're touching at any given time it's like okay i'm not gonna touch that because they're here but i'm gonna go over here and we can all work together which is anyway of all the things one of the things i'm probably most excited for <laughs> for sure and this is the next part about the editor which is really cool Ooh, is our new speed test you click that these are yeah absolutely so i know you're proud of this is definitely something that for a long time we've wanted to optimize so when click funnels first came out for a little context there was nobody on the market that did anything close to it and we kept adding new features and exciting stuff for you guys and over time that was a lot of stuff that's on your pages so when we were starting from the ground up on this one i put out there for my team that it was non-negotiable that we had to be faster than every other editing experience on the market. And that's not just in building your pages, but also when you're rendering the pages and uh, optimize conversions. So if we jump right into it, we're going to go straight head to head with some competitors. And uh, hope it's all right. We're throwing some logos <laughs> and some names out there. But we went to their sites, went to their template pages, the pages they were bragging about, and we went ahead and decided to see how we... Real quick, I, this is one of those things where as a competitor, I mean, I see the ads, it's like, ClickFunnels versus us, and it shows us as a snail and someone else faster. And I'm just like, I want to fly to their houses <laughs> and delete their ads account. So, I was like, Todd, I want to fight all these people face to face in a competition. Let's go. And so that's kind of 
where this slide yep. came from. So we took their pages and just built them in our own editors, right? So to start out, to give you some context on ClickFunnels 1.0, you know, we're faster on some, we're a little bit slower on some you look others. At this, so the green ones yeah. is whoever won. The green with the right. crown is whoever won. So ClickFunnels 1.0 won about half of them, and we lost yeah. about half of them as well. Right, yeah, pretty close on most of them. But check out ClickFunnels 2.0. Oh! We beat everybody. <laughs> and not by a small margin on most of them. <laughs> so because of the way we're optimizing things, because of the content delivery networks that we're partnered with in order to do this, we do everything from rendering your pages on 40 different edge servers around the world to also optimizing your images in real time. And what I mean by that is we'll take your images when you upload them, we will resize them for the resolution of the browser that someone's using. We'll compress yeah. them. We'll do all the wow. optimizations that you normally have to do in external tools and bring them in in wow. real time. If someone's on a mobile device, we'll actually change the file in real time for them, and it'll be ready to serve when they when they load it up. So, so cool. Yeah. Wow. So your page inside ClickFunnels will be the fastest pages, fastest loading, which increases conversion and a whole bunch of other stuff, which yep. is insane. Absolutely, absolutely. So one of the next things that I want to jump into which we, we do a great job of, I think, in ClickFunnels 1.0, but it can be confusing to build complex ones, is follow-up funnels. So inside of 2.0, you have a similar experience to our funnel builder inside of our follow-up funnel workflow builder, as we call it. So inside of here, you're able to basically build anything that you can build in ClickFunnels 1.0, but with far more advanced logic and split testing rules. So you can do full split testing branches on entire sequences of emails, on entire sequences of follow-ups. Does that SMS that you're sending out actually matter? I don't know, put it in a split test and you can find out in real time. So this allows you to do all <laughs> kinds of amazing stuff. The conditions on this that apply in ClickFunnels 1.0, we also have in here, so you're able to say, if someone's bought a certain product, send them down this route. Uh, we also have more advanced features such as goals that we'll touch on over the next few weeks and months ahead to train you guys on. But it's very, very powerful. Cool. <laughs> and funnel stats. So I briefly touched on this a minute ago, but funnel stats are now on every single node inside your funnel builder. So you're able to click a button, toggle them on, see exactly the conversions on all your pages based on different conditions. And this is, I think, powerful for, for you when, you when you're going in and saying, which split test work, does, work best? Like, well, just glance at this. You don't have to look at a table. You don't have to translate anything. You're going to see it at, at first notice, basically. Uh, beyond that, sending emails. So obviously with the follow-up funnel, we also wanted to optimize email sending as much as possible. So similar to ClickFunnels 1.0, you can broadcast emails, you can do email sequences, you can do everything you could before, but we've optimized that experience on both the editor side and the builder side. So within one quick, easy to use UI, you can build an email, preview an email, send an email, do some of the powerful best practices that we teach you guys, such as sending out multiple subject lines and seeing which ones work best and then sending the rest of them with that, all built in. This one was one of the most exciting things that you were, that you were excited about. How many guys want better membership sites? <laughs> no, no. So the first thing that I had a chance to build inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 is a membership site. And so this is the first membership site ever built on ClickFunnels 2.0. We'll yeah. talk about this another day, but it works. It's amazing. It's exciting. Anyway, I'll pass it back to you. Today. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so tying into those customer centers, once you have someone logging into your customer center, um, or if they buy a course from you in the first place, they're creating an account in the customer center. And here they're able to get into the course and actually access it securely in real time, right? So some of the power features that we have in here is we're gonna be hosting your videos. We're gonna be optimizing your videos for you in real time as well. We're gonna be caching them and securing them. So we can secure your videos where only the IP address of the user that's logged in can ever use that video file. Yeah. Inside of the editor experience, we bring the entire power of the ClickFunnels landing page editor to be able to build your lesson pages, your course pages, everything throughout the entire thing. You're gonna see throughout the app, you're gonna see new elements. You're gonna see what we call collections. So you're gonna be able to create collections inside of it. And you can say, put a collection of my lessons on this page. You're gonna be able to do that throughout the entire app. And we're gonna show you guys powerful ways to use that. Um, but overall, this experience is by far 
the best in the industry. There's no, nothing that comes close to being this flexible and this powerful, and it still is familiar with everything you've been building funnels on forever. So cool. This is just a quick preview of one of the first ones that was built in it by our, my design team. And this is showing off the customer center and some of the lesson pages. And these are pages, those elements right there with the course videos, that's a collection inside the editor. You can style it however you want. You can design it however you want. There's zero limitations. And of course, we plan to work with the designers over the next few months and build you guys amazing templates that'll be in there by default. You can customize to your heart's content. And that's without any programming knowledge, of course. <laughs> and Russell touched on analytics. So we were showing you the funnel stats. You can get into the funnel stats. You can see a high level view, but we are not leaving out you guys that are doing the data on a daily basis with driving traffic and want to know exactly everything that's going on. So we've stepped up our analytics to the next level. We have the ability to build custom reporting inside the app. So you can come in and you can tell us exactly what data you want to see and how you want to see it in real time. And it'll customize the page for you, for your funnel, for your business. So, so cool. And next up, CRM funnels. So you want to touch on this one? <laughs> How many of you guys can benefit from having CRM inside your ClickFunnels account? <laughs> All the high ticket sales people are like, yes. yes. So there's a lot of use cases for this, but I think the biggest feedback we get from people who are doing like high ticket sales and things like that is how do I take a client and a lead and move them through a process? And that's what the CRM funnels, uh, when we first sat down brainstorming, how do we make this work? How do we take some step to step and, and page to page? And so you can kind of see some screenshots of what it's looking like right now. Um, and CRM funnels are gonna be amazing as well. Yeah, they're actually, they're super exciting. As you, we've got a quick little preview there of like the contact management side of things. And we've really focused on making contact management top notch throughout the entire application. We want it to be easy for your team to get in there, manage your contacts, handle payment processing things, handle access to courses and enrollments, everything that you would expect. Um, and then above, we've got deals and pipelines that you're going to be able to use to actually use opportunities and move things people through, trigger your follow-up funnels and workflows based on different le uh, levels that they are inside your pipeline. So, Oh, so cool. <laughs> Should we answer a couple questions? This is the question by far we've gotten the most, I think, far <laughs> By <on>. far, yeah. <laughs> there's 1.0, there's 2.0. How does this part work? How many of you guys are curious about that? Okay, I'm gonna let Todd talk about it. <laughs> All right, so as I've said since the beginning is basically, I wanted 2.0 to be a separate platform so we could accomplish all these things we wanted for you guys in, in a reasonable timeline. So 1.0, first off, don't worry. It will literally stay around forever. We have no plans to depreciate or get rid of 1.0. But what we will do is once you actually move, move over and sign up for 2.0, you'll be able to put your 1.0 account on a maintenance plan, meaning all your funnels there will work forever. You can keep collecting leads. You never have to rebuild anything if you don't want to. It'll be there. But you can build all your new stuff on 2.0. Yep. Simple as that. Always start migrating stuff over and things like that. Yep. Very cool. All right. And the big question, maybe? So the next big question <laughs> is, when does ClickFunnels 2.0 go live? <laughs> I vox Todd every single day now for six months asking him this question. So, Todd, that's good. <laughs> that's the big question. When's ClickFunnels 2.0 go live? Um, obviously, my goal is to give it to you guys as soon as humanly possible, and I want to give it to you guys today. Um, but this is the, the realistic rollout plan. Um, what these guys have accomplished in a short period of time is literally insane. Uh, the team they've assembled and how much stuff they've done. Uh, to put this in perspective, if you look at a company like Shopify, Shopify has 1,000... 2,000 developers? 2,000 full-time developers that spend a decade and a half on their platform. Um, Todd and his team that's lean, they're faster, they've moved, uh, like, insane amounts of... To get this to where it's at is insane. It's really, really cool. And we are uh, getting close to all the final testing and things like that to have, us, to have us the ability to start giving it to you guys. And one of the benefits of you guys being part of Fun Hacking Live is you're going to get it before anybody else in the market. Um, yeah! yeah. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 will be live for the entire market in March. The beta group is going to be starting for the beta group in January. But who here wants access to ClickFunnels 2.0 the exact same time that I get access to ClickFunnels 2.0? Yeah? OK, so that is the game plan. Um, we've got a really cool rollout strategy I'll talk about here in a second. But 
um, feature by feature Todd and his team have given to me. I have a chance to test it and then we're gonna give it to you guys. And we keep doing that piece by piece over the next couple months uh, and it gives us all the ability to kind of learn it together, grow together, get any bugs and feedback together. So that way in January when we open the beta, um, we'll be ready to rock and roll, which is gonna be so cool. So that's kind of game plan. And so you guys are part of this special launch. This is, they call it the a pre-beta of an alpha beta? Private beta. A private this beta? Is our private beta. This is our private group. It's a large private group. Yeah. <laughs> So for everyone who's at home and everyone who's in the room, you guys are the only ones who have access to this. Nobody else in the community will um, until next year, which is really, really cool. So what are you can do when you guys become part of this today? A couple things. One, one you're going to get a really cool shirt that, like Todd and I have. But you're going to become a founding member of ClickFunnels 2.0. And um, do you want to talk about some of the benefits, like being a founding member of ClickFunnels 2.0? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to be giving you guys first access to any new feature we release. And this doesn't just mean over this beta period, but in the future as well. So anything that we come up with that Russell's using and testing early on, you guys will also be the first to get access to that and to be able to give us feedback and hopefully work with you to, to make sure it's the best thing it can be. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So the way we're going to play this game is if you guys decide, like, yes, I'm getting started, I want to be part of ClickFunnels 2.0. By the way, how many of you guys want to be part of ClickFunnels 2.0, especially if it's free? <clears throat> You're basically going to stake your claim. We're creating an account right now. You won't pay anything until January 1st or when the beta starts. And so that's three or four months for us to go in there, start playing, start using it without having to pay anything because we want you guys' feedback and things like that. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of bonuses as well because that's what we do. I can make a value stack. So on top of that, I want you guys to be the best funnel builders in the world. So when you guys become part of this private beta, I'm also giving you guys access to the Funnelology Masterclass. This is one of my favorite uh, courses about I've ever done teaching all the different types of funnels. This is something that you'll be able to plug into immediately. In fact, I think the, uh, the entire course is in the members area. So when you guys have started, like you can start watching tonight or when you get back from Funnel Hacking Live. But that's going to be in there for you. So the first thing you're going to get when you guys get started, again, is you'll be a quick funny 2.0 founding member, which is insane because, like Todd said, for the next year, five years, ten years, as the new things are coming, you guys will get it before anybody else. They have this thing that he had to teach me about. It's called feature gating. So they create a feature, and then they basically can feature gate it. Say, okay, give it to this person, and this person, and this group. And so you guys will be in the feature, the founding feature gate, where it's like, new feature's done, Russell and founding members get it, boom, and then we'll have a chance to play with it, whack on it, have some fun, and see what happens, and it's make sure it doesn't break. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also the Funology Masterclass, total value of insane. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is, um, <laughs> you guys know the game at this point, come on now, all right. The next thing we're gonna do is, each month between now and the January beta, we're gonna be doing a live challenge with you guys for a couple reasons. Number one, we want you guys to understand the psychology of the feature we're gonna be releasing to you. So the first feature we're gonna be releasing to everybody here in this group is a funnel hub. How many of you guys are pumped after Mike and AJ's presentation, like, I'm ready to build my funnel hub! Awesome. So the second Todd says, Russell, here's access to Funnel Hub for everybody. Mike and AJ are flying out. We're going to do, um, with just this group, we're going to do a private challenge over a couple days, going through the strategy, setting it up, giving you guys the templates, the tools, uh, all of everything. And then we'll turn that feature on in your ClickFunnels account, and then everybody will have a chance to build Funnel Hubs, get feedback, get ideas. And we'll be in a kind of a collective group of all of us building this together, which is going to be so much fun. So that's going to be the first challenge and the first feature released um, sometime in, in October. It's the next month. And so you have that, and you have a chance to build out your website, your blog, your customer center. All those pieces will be inside of the first release that you guys will have next month. Have you guys are pumped about that one? Yeah. Ah, so excited. So that means you're going to be a ClickFunnels 2.0 founding member. You get the Funnelology Masterclass Plus. You get the Launcher Funnel Hub Challenge. Way better than having Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put it as a joke at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> I was going to change it, and I totally forgot. It's the easiest pitch So that is pitch way ever. better than Bitcoin. <laughs> you know what I was saying? Especially considering you're paying literally zero dollars for all of this right now. Your free beta access now until January 1st. Um, second thing, the next feature we're going to be rolling out is the membership sites. So that month we're going to be doing a challenge to how to launch your course. We'll be unlocking the course feature. Now all of us have a chance to build courses together collectively inside of 2.0. That way by the end of November you have your courses done, ready to go and launch and go live, which is going to be super, super cool. And it's all going to be built out in membership sites 2.0, which literally, when you guys see it, like... If you've used any membership platform in the past, you literally will just like cancel it and move everything over and be like, well, that was useless. <laughs> it has been so cool. Um, and we just touched upon the thing. So by the end of November, you guys have your membership sites built. You get the training. And again, um, all that stuff is for free for any of you guys to become a founding member. And then the next one we're going to do is in December, we're going to launch a store challenge. How many of you guys want to launch a shop, uh, shopping, uh, shop funnel? 
launching your store. <laughs> you talk, right? Um, so you participate. Uh, in December, we're going to be doing the challenge. We're going to launch stores. All of us have a chance to launch our stores together, uh, which means you're going to get access to the shopping cart, the ClickFunnels page, the back end funnels. All those things will be happening by the end of the year, which means you get access to all this stuff. You'll be a ClickFunnels 2, 2.0 founding member, Funnelology Masterclass, launch your Funnel Hub Challenge, launch your course challenge, launch your store challenges. So one challenge every single month for the next three months, which is going to be really fun. And uh, seriously, how is this thing possible, Todd? I don't know. This, you guys want this is me? the easiest pitch ever for you. I'm literally going <laughs> to go through three challenges with you guys privately for free over the next three months, which is really cool. All this because you guys become founding members of ClickFunnels 2.0. And like we said, in January 1st is when the outside beta begins. We're going to launch this similar to how Clubhouse launched, which means you guys will be able to be the cool kids on the block. And inside your account, you're like, who, who wants to access ClickFunnels 2.0? And they will beg you and they will fight for it. And you're like, I got five invites. I'll give one to you. I'll give one to you. I'm going to sell this one on eBay for four grand. <laughs> anyway, you want to do it. It's going to be really fun. But you'll be part of the, the beta in January. So you guys will be the ones who are inviting in uh, the next set of members. And so it's going to be kind of a slow invite. We want your friends coming in next as we kind of make sure that everything's working, bringing the next group of ClickFunnels members. And again, you get access to all this for literally zero dollars because it doesn't cost you anything until after January 1st. So how many of you guys are ready to join the ClickFunnels 2.0 private beta group? <laughs> This may be the first pitch I've ever had 100% conversion on ever in my <laughs> life. Please don't be that one person who won't put down zero dollars and breaks my streak of 100% close rate. Okay, this is how the game's in play. Ever got a phone? Pull out your phone. This is gonna be the easiest thing ever. There's a website, it's a secret website. You're gonna type this website in. You're gonna create your ClickFunnels account. You put in your name, email, password, yeah. and a credit card. We bill you zero dollars right now. Zero dollars next month, zero dollars all the way till ClickFunnels actually goes live. At that point, you have a chance to pick what, play, like, like what you wanna pay, what level, but you'll pay nothing until we actually go live. Um, and then at, when it's done, it'll show you a thank you page. The thank you page, you take that on your phone, you run to the back of the room, and they'll give you a ClickFunnels 2.0 shirt. And we'll all be twins, it's <laughs> gonna be amazing. Okay, you guys ready for the website? You all got your phones out? Here we go. The site is cf2.0.com. <laughs> I'm so proud of that domain. domain. I'm really happy yeah, with it. It's a good domain. cf2.0.com. And you're going to start creating your account. When you do that, a couple things are going to happen. You're going to become a ClickFunnels 2.0 founding member. You're going to get a Funnelology Masterclass. You're going to get the Launcher mm -hmm. Funnel Hub Challenge, the Launcher Course Challenge, the Launcher Store Challenge. You'll be a founding member. Did I already say that one? I think I did. Um, how is this even possible? All you got to do is go on your phone and go to cf2.0.com. Again, Create your ClickFunnels account. As soon as you're done, jump up. You're not rude. To jump up as soon as you're done. Run to the back. Get your thing. And then we're going to be going directly from there to dinner. And then after that, we come back. The award ceremony is happening. And then after the award ceremony, guys, I have a private guest who is going to blow your mind. I can't even wait. Um, this is one very hard for me to keep this one a secret. You do not want to miss it, I promise you. So that's the game plan right now, everyone. Get your phones out. CF2.0.com. Create your account. As soon as you get it, jump up. Run to the back. Some of you guys are faster than the others. Look at this. Type faster with those thumbs as fast as you can. CF2.0.com. Everyone at home, same thing. If you guys are home, go on your desktop, go to CF2.0.com. We'll be able to see when you sign up and we'll send you guys t-shirts to your homes as well, so don't stress out. You'll be twins with us from home. Uh, we'll get your shirt size in the next couple days. We'll send you guys out t-shirts as well and you access the entire beta group. Don't share this like in our ClickFunnels groups and other places. It's just for you guys right here privately because you are here at Funnel Hacking Live. That's why we're doing this. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Anything else? No, absolutely. That's, uh, that's basically it. When you, get, when you finish signing up, you'll get an email with a link to be able to click to sign in instantly to the customer center, which will give you the Funnelology Masterclass, class, which is already there. So you'll have access to it immediately. You'll get another link, which logs you straight into ClickFunnels 2.0. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We love you. We'll see you guys tonight at the Warsaw. See you guys all soon. You guys keep it going for Russell and Todd.